guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. In this video we're going to be talking about rodents, feeder rodents. Like this guy right here. So in this video I want to show you guys how I started breeding my mice. Because as the collection grows and grows and grows, it costs more and more and more to feed them. So basically I'm just trying to cut cost a little bit. So I'm going to show you my setup. And in this box, I just ordered my second mouse lab bin from Reptile Basics. It's going to be a good video, so stay tuned. Alright, so I'm going to open this first bin with you guys. Show you exactly what it is that I'm keeping my mice in. And I had my first female mouse with the male, and um, he actually killed her. So I had to get another one, and... That, that girl was pretty young, so I had her for about a couple of weeks. They didn't have any babies, she didn't get pregnant. And then bam, out of nowhere, out of nowhere she just got pregnant. She had some pinkies, so once I started to actually see the pinkies, I was like, wow, this might actually work. And um, I was like, let me order another one of these rodent bins. So giving you an overhead view. This is from Reptile Basics. Um, it cost me, I believe, with the water bottle, $36.99. It might have been a couple of dollars more than that with the water bottle. Packed real well. And I ordered this like five days ago and it's already here. All right, so let me get this out of the box. Give you guys a better look at what we got. So here it is. It's not heavy at all. Nice and lightweight. And it's real heavy duty plastic because mice have sharp teeth and they can bite through most Sterlite Tupperware bins. But this is made out of a special plastic so they don't get bite through it. So this one measures 18. It measures 18 by, let me see, 18 by 12. All right, so this is a really simple concept. You got latches on each side. So you just pop open the latch, lift it. You could access whatever you need. I ordered a water bottle and this is the invoice, which I don't need right now. So how it works is water bottle, you put that in there like that. And there's a little hole right here. It just goes right in. You put your food right here and that's it. All right, so I already got one set up with the mice in it. We're gonna set this one up and we're gonna transfer some of the babies into here so they could breed for the future. So let's get to it. So let me show you guys what I use for bedding. First, I put eco straw. It's just a pellet that I put on the bottom, about a half an inch, and it absorbs all moisture, water, urine, and it, it'll allow you to not have to change the bedding as often. Probably go a month without changing it. If you're not going to use this, probably once a week or twice a week you got to do changes on the bedding. And next, I'm just using uh, aspen bedding. This is made for um, rodents like rabbits, hamsters, mice, and that just goes on top. And put about two and a half inches of that. Um, this stuff works really well. And sometimes I'll put a couple of paper towels in there so they could build nets for the babies. But um, it's really inexpensive and it's easy to clean. All right, we're gonna do this real quick. Take the water bottle out, put it on the side. This, each latch pops right off. Put this to the side. And now we're gonna put our, our first layer. So now everything is even. It's about about half an inch. So this is all the stuff is. It absorbs moisture and you just spread it out. Make sure all, all the corners are covered. And that's it. 
Now we're gonna put our aspen bedding on top. Put that on top, just like cheese on a pizza. More on top. This one, this should be about two, 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 maybe two and a half inches deep. It's like making pizza. Just sprinkle the cheese, sprinkle the cheese. There we go. All right, everything looks good. I'm just playing this ain't cheese, but no. All right, I think, I think we got enough here now. All right, so I'm trying to dig till I get to the bottom layer. It's about two, two and a half inches. That's all you really need. And like I said, that that stuff on the bottom, the straw, it'll prevent odors from building up. It'll suck all the moisture. So you only gotta clean it about once a month or so. All right, so this is my original bin that I had. And it was just a pair, a male and a female. And they had these babies about three weeks ago, maybe three and a half weeks ago. So this is, this was the father and this is the mother and she had nine babies. I'll give you guys a better look at the babies. That one right there is the dad and that one's the mom. Got a baby right there. Got a bunch of babies. They had nine babies. They're all bundled up there. And in another video, I'm gonna show you guys how we euthanize them. The most humane way to do it, cause you don't you don't want to put any animal through suffering or anything. Unless you have live feeders, then you have no choice. But um, that's the way we do it. We euthanize them, and that's gonna be another video. All right, so now I just gotta see which one's male, what's which one is female. You want to put one male to however many females you want. You could put as many females as you want. But I'm gonna try and do a one male to four female ratio for these size bins. But ju just remember, don't put two males together. They'll probably fight to the death. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to sex them. Um, this is a male right here. You can see a slight bulge. And when he walks, sometimes you'll notice it if I can get him to do it on camera. It'll be obvious, basically. I'll leave it at that. And now for the female. Can you see the, you could kind of see nipples right there. And there's really no bulge at all there. But that's the easiest way to tell is by just look for nipples. And there's another way to tell, judging upon the anatomy there, but um, I'm not an expert. But you see him right there? You see you see what I'm talking about? So the females don't have that, so we'll leave it at that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep it for the family. I'm not trying to get too graphic here. So this one right here is a male. There's no nipples. And watch what happens when I put him down. Watch what happens. We get a better view. It's almost like when they relax, you can see it. You see? So that's a male. So we only need one male. Alright, so I found a female here. She had she has some um, nipples, but it's hard to see it on the camera. But when I put her down, I watched her for a while. And um, I'm pretty sure she's a female. We got one female and one male so far. All right guys, so it looks like we have two females. Only two females out of the whole bunch. So I got one male and two females in here. And this is the new bin. And in the old bin, I got the original male and female. So I'm gonna keep them. And then all of those males, I'm gonna euthanize. So I just put the, the top back on. That's how it looks like from the side. So now I'm gonna basically just put the food in the compartment right here. And this is the flapper that holds the food in place. So you get this bag of food at Reptile Basics as well. Just dump some of the, of the food right there. So they can get right to the food from down there. They could reach it, they eat whatever they want and everything stays up here. And as you need more, you just throw it on top water bowl is right in the middle and this little metal flap prevents see with the water bottle there it's not going to flap down and the food stays on this side the water stays on that side it has a little holster right there bam just like that 
And you can get this food at Reptile Basics as well. This is the mouse pellets. It's nothing like Fancy Feast, nothing too fancy, but it has all the nutrients that the mouse needs to grow and keep strong bones and all that good stuff. So check out this beautiful setup I have. This amazing metal rack. This metal shelf that I got from Home Depot for 30 bucks. They come in all different sizes. Nothing but the finest for my rodents. And the bin on top, that's the one we just did with the babies. And I'm going to be removing those two bottom tubs. And I'm going to get a third rodent bin. And when I have more pinkies, I'll move those down. Hopefully, um, I'll start producing a lot. And I might have to get a big, bigger rack. But for now, this beautiful setup works for me. So I hope you guys learned some things today. If you, if you don't have any rodents yet and you were thinking about it. Um, some of you guys are probably experts and know a lot more than I do. I was just trying to show you guys if you're just starting out. Um, you know, as far as the smell, that was one of the negatives that I, I, I saw online. I don't really have much odor with, with these at all. That's because I put that straw pellet on the bottom and it absorbs a lot of moisture. Um, make sure that the water bottle doesn't leak. If it's leaking into the actual bedding and it sits there and gets wet, that's something that could cause an odor too. So the odor, um, I'm trying to think of anything else that was negative. There's not really many negatives. Um, once you see the pinkies coming, then it changes everything because you actually see them and you know you're, you're, you're doing the things right. And that's what happened with me. Once I started seeing the pinkies, I already knew I wanted to hold back some and start another colony. But anyway, I had fun with you guys making this video. I had a lot of fun. And something I wanted to tell you is don't forget to leave comments. If you have any questions, I love answering comments. I, I always check my comments. So leave comments. Um, if you could support me, support the channel. Um, subscribe to the videos. Hit the notification bell. Thumbs up. And um, we're going to make another video in a couple of days. I think it's going to be an unboxing, but that's going to be a surprise. So thank you for all the support and be safe. Catch you in the next one.